Welcome to the Tactical Dad Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Cook, and I am the Tactical Dad. We still have a dodgy microphone, so the audio is not great. Just bear with me. We have a new one on the way. In this episode, episode 53, we are going to talk about co-witnessing, a beginner's guide to, or uh, beginner's start to target acquisition. So what is co-witness on guns and scopes actually mean? That was my first question. And um, co-witnessing refers to the alignment of the iron sights on a firearm with the reticle of your optic, such as a red dot, reflex sight, um, uh, the, um, the crosshairs on what, whatever, whatever sight or scope you have holographic, whatever it is, it is the um, the alignment of the iron sights with the reticle of the optic. When the iron sights and the reticle are properly aligned, they can be used together to provide the, the, the you, if it's you, you the shooter, the user, with a backup sighting system in case the optic fails or runs out of battery. There are two types, two main types of co-witnessing absolute and uh, lower th uh, lower third absolute co-witness is when the iron sights are aligned perfectly with the optics reticle this means that when you as a shooter look through the optic you can see the iron sights through the reticle and can use both the iron sight and the reticle to aim this is um considered like a preferred method for a lot of shooters uh, it makes the transition from the optic to the iron sights more seamless doesn't change the point of impact and uh yeah so lo uh, lower third co-witness is when the iron sights are aligned with the bottom third of the optics field of view this means that when the user uh or when you as a shooter the user the customer whoever it is the person that's shooting when they look through the optic, the iron sights are visible, but they're not perfectly aligned with the reticle. This is, uh, it's not like the main preferred, but some people prefer this method because it allows for a slightly more natural head position, keeps the iron sights further out of the way. Um, but it's not, it's, it, it's not like the it's not the main preferred one. Absolute co-witness is, is the preferred one, is the preferred method. Um, it's pretty important to note that all optics and firearms are designed to co-witness. So what you should really do is just check the compatibility of the optic and your gun before attempting to co-witness the two systems. So because um, there's, geez, there's God knows how many variations of optics and there's probably just as many guns out there now. So it's uh, important to just like check with the manufacturer first. And uh, it's important to understand that proper alignment and adjustment of the sights may need, uh, may be needed to achieve a proper core witness. So, because you've got to zero in your sight. You, well, you've you got to check the iron sights. Um, you got to zero in your sight. So lots to do before, excuse me, lots to do before um, you can do the proper alignment adjustments. Uh, Co-witnessing can be an important feature for shooters who want to have a backup sighting system in case of failure of the primary optic. So shooters who prefer to have different options or multiple options, this is this is a good thing for them. But this, we're not going to go further into co-witnessing because I, I, like the next, blah, blah, the next question you're probably going to ask is like, why would you have this? Why would you do this? Well, like some of the benefits of this, uh, and like, and these are some of the questions I asked, and I asked them not really knowing much a while ago, so I, I imagine other people have asked this too, so. I wondered, is this really why some optics, um, is this why, is this not one of the main reasons, but is this why there are, uh, why optics have mounts and is this why some optics have risers and 
you know, things like that. And we'll, we'll discuss that in the next episode. I'm just sharing today in this episode, episode 53, what it actually means, what is co-witnessing. And that's, that's what it means. It refers to the alignment of the iron sights on your firearm with the reticle of the optic. That's co-witnessing. And there are two main types, absolute and lower third. Thanks for joining me. We're going to go more into co-witnessing in another episode. I think it might even be the next one or two in front. Not sure. I, I tried to line up a bunch of podcasts in advance and create like an outline, do some research, make some notes, just so I can give uh, better information and as accurately as I can to you. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you again in the next episode. Have a great day.